Hello all, this is Ethan Beagle, and I will be presenting on An Ethical Dilemma from the movie Gladiator. This movie was released in the year 2000, was directed by Ridley Scott, and won five Academy Awards. The movie is set in the year 180 in the Roman Empire and focuses on the struggle in between General Maximus Decimus Meridius, played by Russell Crowe, and the late Emperor's son Commodus Aurelius, played by Joe Quinn Phoenix. In the beginning of the movie, Maximus fights the final battle against the Germanic people group and wins. With that victory, the Empire is no longer at war. The Emperor, Marcus Aurelius, knows he is close to death and asks Maximus to restore the leadership of Rome to the Senate, and therefore the people of Rome. The Emperor knows that his son Commodus is not fit to rule, and that he will try to seize control as Emperor of Rome. Maximus goes off to think about taking on this new duty, because he really just wants to go home to his wife, son, and crops. Meanwhile, Marcus Aurelius tells Commodus of his plan and that he is not fit to rule. Commodus, in a fit of anger, then smothers and kills his father, later claiming that he died in his sleep. Maximus, having made up his mind to carry out the, last, er, the late emperor's wishes, does not swear to serve Commodus as emperor, so Commodus has him captured and taken away to be killed. Maximus flees his captors and then er, Maximus kills his captors and flees to his home. When he gets there, he finds that Commodus has already sent men to kill his family. Stricken by grief and feeling feverish from his wounds, he collapses at the graves of his wife and son. When he finally comes to, he has been captured by slave traders. After a short journey, he is sold to an entertainer named Antonius Proximo, played by Oliver Reed, who trains slaves for gladiator matches. Being the soldier that he is, Maximus bests all of his opponents in the Roman provinces until he and Proximo make it all the way back to Rome to fight in the Colosseum, in front of none other than Emperor Commodus. At this point, Commodus can't have Maximus killed because then the people would riot. Maximus, of course, wants revenge against Commodus for killing his family, so Maximus and Commodus have a bit of a power struggle going on here. This leads me to the ethical scenario. Lucilla, the sister of Commodus, and Senator Gracchus meet in secret with Maximus to devise a plan against Commodus. Basically, what these three are discussing is marching an army into the capital city itself, fighting through the Praetorian Guard, killing Commodus, and reinstating the Senate as the ruling body of Rome. Is it ethical to forcibly remove a dictator? A lot of historical ample examples say yes depending on how badly the dictator behaves. In this movie, Commodus kills his father to take control of the empire, shows no interest in doing any administrative tasks, and bankrupts the treasury by throwing a lavish series of massive gladiatorial games to honor his dead father. He also controls his sister Lucilla by threatening to hurt or kill her son Lucius, among other misdeeds throughout the movie. These seem like very unethical behaviors, very unbecoming of a person in control of the largest empire in the world at the time. But does it justify killing him? Based on the principle of utility, yes. According to the textbook, the utility principle is the idea that the morally right action is the action that produces the best consequences for everyone involved, not just one individual. Page 18. The empire at the time controlled a quarter of the world's population, they would all suffer bad consequences if Commodus was left in power. If the plan by, Luc by Lucilla, Gracchus, and Maximus succeeds, the people of the Roman Empire would once again be represented by and ruled by the Senate, which seems a much better option than being ruled by Commodus. In addition to the principle of utility, Maximus is also motivated by a strong sense of duty to honor the last wishes of Marcus Aurelius. In the movie, it is shown that Maximus and Marcus have a very close relationship, closer than Marcus had with his own son, Commodus. This devotion is strong enough to motivate him to stay alive, even though Maximus longs to be reunited with his family in the afterlife. Another ethical theory demonstrated in the movie is the principle of virtues. Specifically, Maximus demonstrates the virtues of loyalty, self-discipline, and courage. He can be quoted in the movie as saying, what we do in life echoes in eternity. Another time these are discussed is when Marcus and Commodus are talking, and Commodus says, 
You wrote to me once, listing the four chief virtues, wisdom, justice, fortitude, and temperance. As I read your list, I knew I had none of them. So clearly, Marcus was wise in his choice not to appoint Commodus as emperor, even though he eventually became that. So, unfortunately for the rebellious trio, uh, Lucilla, Gracchus, and Maximus, Commodus catches on to their plans. He imprisons Gracchus, regains control of his sister by using her son, and chooses to fight against Maximus himself in the Colosseum. Right before the fight, he stabs Maximus in order to help him win. They fight in the arena, but Maximus defeats Commodus anyway though he was badly wounded in the process. I'll show the final video now. Senator Gracchus is to be reinstated. There was a dream that was Rome. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. Free the prisoners, go! Even as he lay dying and is very close to rejoining his family, Maximus's devotion to Marcus is apparent as he carries out his final wishes. Hopefully, control was restored to the Senate like Marcus and Maximus intended, thus fulfilling the principle of utility. Thank you.